Dang! Um, that's kind of random. What's up guys, my Aris here, and welcome back to Sakura Gamer. So we're gonna get back into it here. The gals were discussing about making their very own game, which, um, by the sounds of it, was pretty much them making the Sakura visual novel. And it's weird because, well, we're playing a Sakura visual novel. So we're gonna get into this here and find out more what these gamer bays are gonna get up to. Sure. Clever slides off the bed and gets to her feet. She takes my hands in hers. Her palms are soft and warm. I know if you by my side, this uh, this will product get finished in no time. Why do you think that? You're like super reliable, even though I can't cook or clean, or take my clothes off when I get into the shower. <laughs> Those are just minor points. When it comes to deadlines, you're really good. Being with you fires me up, Nicahemia. You bring out the best in me. Since you're always serious, I feel like I should get serious too. We can do it. Oh, that's so adorable. They both motivate each other. That's so cute. Being of you inspires me too. Being of you gives me a headache. We all know she's a Sundari, but we ain't gonna let her Sundari ways sway our decision here. She inspires us too, of course. Well, good. I'm glad. And, um, <laughs> I glance down at my feet. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm blushing. Uh, being with you inspires me, Clover. What? What? Really? That's right. Um, I I wasn't too sold in the idea at first, but now I can tell you're taking it seriously. So, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it seriously too. Let's make the best visual novel we can. That's right. Let's do it. So saying, Clover punches her fist into the air. I punch my fist into the air too, though, with a little less energy. I'm not exactly the hot-blooded. We can do it if we try type. I rarely use explanation marks when I talk, and I never use them when I type. But for some reason, when I'm with Clover, I think I can really make this work. No, not just me. We will make this work together! All right, let's go on Game of Biz and make the most fan heck fantastic visual novel, sure. Even better than the Sakura ones. <laughs> Sure, and the following day. Oh, hi! <laughs> she feels like death, but looks totally the opposite of it. She looks well alive to me. But on my uneasy way to the kitchen, I happen to run into an interesting sight. Okay, we've got our gal here drawing some designs for the characters. Is that what she was going to do, I think? Sure. She's looking at our kids, they're doing it too. All right. Hey, Nikihimi. Good morning. It's Suki. She's reclining on the couch in the living room as she's so prone to doing. Suki's back is resting against a red cushion. Her legs are pulled up and there's something resting in her lap. A tablet? I creep closer despite my initial misgivings and my intense craving for sugar. What are you doing? I'm glad you asked. I'm sketching out character designs for our project designs. Hmm, they've got to be cute girls, of course. That's what sells. All of my grumpy thoughts are blown away like a spring breeze running through the petals of a cherry blossom tree. These designs really are cute. There are three girls on the screen. One of them looks sleepy and disinterested with long hair and glasses. The other has a lively vibe about her with a messy ponytail and a bright smile. The third, meanwhile, looks shy and demure with long black hair and brown eyes. To cap it off, she's wearing a shrine maiden outfit, a traditional Japanese beauty. So she's kind of depic depicting those three. So Nikihimi, Clover, and herself. That's basically what I'm getting here. There's a nice selection of girls here. Hmm, I try to make each girl target a specific fetish. Fetish? Yep, here we have the cold, emotionless girl. She taps the first sketch. And this is the energetic, cheerful girl. She taps the second one. And this is the pure, innocent type. It would have been nice if they shown us, like, you know, some rough concepts at least. They could have easily, quickly done a CG of that, but never mind. She taps the third. Hey, Nikahimi. She sets her tablet to one side and raises on the couch. She's looking at me quizzically. What? Which girl is your favorite? Uh, I, uh, um... You want to know my type? Oh, don't look so shocked. There's nothing preserved. I just want to know which character design is the most aesthetically pleasing. 
All artists need feedback so they can improve. Well, if you just want feedback, then... Uh, the energetic, the emotionless girl, the shrine maiden. Who would I personally go for? I don't mind that bubbly energetic girl. They're always so perky and cute, the guys. So that's what I'm going for here. All right. I like the energetic girl. Ooh, an interesting choice. What do you mean? The energetic character type is one of the oldest and most straightforward. There usually isn't that much depth to these kinds of characters beyond their bright smiles. Maybe these characters don't lend themselves to the most interesting stories, but I prefer people who are honest with their feelings. Playing emotional mind games is a waste of time. <laughs> I understand the appeal. Isn't that what you're doing, though? <laughs> like I said, you're all like scenario and whatnot, messing around with Clover, and then in your head you're like, I actually like what she's doing, by the way. <laughs> But I won't tell her that. Only on very, very rare occasions I will. There's a reason why this kind of character is still so popular. Are you trying to appeal to as many people as possible? That's right. If all your heroines have similar personality traits, it minimizes the number of people your story are attacked. If you give them a variety of traits, you can gather more attention. But if you have too many desperate elements in the story, it can seem jumbled and messy. You're right, if the character designs are too different, the girls would fit the same setting. You can make them different, but there also needs to be a few common traits to ground them into the story's universe. The character design is really, really important, you know. You have to express a lot in only a few strokes. The designs telegraph to the audience what the characters will be like and what the tone of vision novel will be before they read the first word. I see. When Suki talks about drawing, she gets really fired up, her eyes even start to glitter. I guess she must care about drawing a lot. I thought she was just messing around at first, but she really is talented and she's passionate to boot. She's not very hard to passionate. It's not very hard to find passionate people and though it's rarer, there are quite a lot of talented people in this world too. But finding people who are both passionate about a project and talented enough to see it through to the end, that really is rare. But something about these sketches is bugging me. The girls you drew look kind of familiar. <laughs> well, I tend to take uh, inspiration from my surroundings. I think that's how all artists are. Maybe, but they really are similar. The first girl is the spitting image of me. That's exactly what I said. The second looks just like Clover. The third, however, she seems like the old one out. I gesture towards the sketch of the Demir Shrine Maiden. Ah ha ha. Well, as an artist, it's also my duty to embellish reality here and there. It would be boring if I just stole, stole designs wholesale. I suppose so. But the gears inside my mind are turning. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that night, I find myself playing yet another entry in the second series. <laughs> what the flip? That's kind of what I like about this game. Like, they really are prodding themselves. And uh, it's, it's just strange how a Sakura original novel is talking about the actual Sakura series, you know. This time it's Sakura Angels, like a legit one as well. It's a rather cute and lighthearted story about a boy who finds two attractive girls that have to save him from some Magellan threat lurking in the shadows. We actually completed that one. We actually did though. <laughs> For once! <laughs> I think the ones I completed were Sakura Swing Club, Sakura Angels, and I think that's it. <laughs> I don't think I completed any other ones. It's not particularly deep, but the character designs are charming. So is the voice acting. I wonder if we should include voice acting in our vision or voice acting. Yeah, I think there was a Japanese dub. But other than that, there wasn't any other language or anything. So yeah, technically there was voice acting. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. That would increase the production time and I haven't seen... I haven't even started to write it yet. Besides, who would do the voices anyway? Clover? Suki? Me? There's no way. If I had to voice any Lou dialogue, I'd die of embarrassment. Nah. Alright, it's time to go on an adventure. A Sakura adventure, if you will! I see my game and close it down. The cherry music cuts off instantly. Then I retrieve my jacket from the floor and slide my arms through the holes. I just don't feel comfortable leaving my room without my jacket. It's important to me. I get out of bed and leave my room, but you're you're completely fine in your like in your bikini and your pants, aren't you? <laughs> you're comfortable with no sure. I make my way to the kitchen. I push open the door without any real expectations. Ah, and that's why I'm so surprised when I walk in on such an unusually intimate scene. Your kid. Oh, dang. Um, that's kind of random. Didn't mean to walk on you guys there. 
was just looking for a bedridge in my apartment, you know? Doing my nightly thing, getting my drink, and bada bing, bada boom! Suke pins Clover's hands against the fridge and nails bite into her skin. Their chest pressed together so close there isn't an inch of space between them. It must be warm. It looks warm. <laughs> it's someone a little jealous. <laughs> it's not fair. Why does my chest hurt so much? It doesn't bother me that they're both girls. I'm not like my parents. That isn't an issue. I'm not even upset that Clover's found herself a girlfriend. Is that what you'd call it? It seems a bit hasty to me since we've only known Suku for a few days, but Clover is quite impulsive. I just wish a pretty girl like Suku would kiss me. Clover had told me about this earlier. We can enjoy ourselves together? What would I say? Well, I don't know why she mentioned Suki yet again. I said that like in the last episode or something. Because she didn't seem like she liked her. But what would I say? Clover told me? Like, I... Why would she need to tell me, you know? We can enjoy ourselves together? What does she mean by that? Again, is she getting jealous here? Did she want to join in? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'll just go for the enjoy. I don't know. Sure, the bottom one. Why not? Again, I don't know why Clover would have said anything. So, whatever. I'll just say the bottom one there. There was a way we could all enjoy ourselves together. I don't particularly mind if Clover wants to date people. I'm not her mother. She can do what she wants as far as I'm concerned. But if she dates Suki, who lives with us, one of us is going to get left out. Of course, that person would be me. What? Looks like Clover and Suki are enjoying themselves more than enough without me. Why would they need me? I'm just a shy, socially awkward girl who's never even held hands before, much less kissed. Oh, no. She is... Ah, oh, she ain't liking it right now. Deep down, she wants someone, something, you know? Especially a kiss like this, like this, deep and passionate with open mouths and searching tongues. I sniff. It takes me a few moments to realize my eyes are dim. Oh, no. It's going to be all right, girl. It's going to be all right. Uh, Nekahimi, I, I didn't know you were, um, I hope we didn't surprise you. It, it, uh, it, it, well, it was quite a surprise. Uh, I'm sorry, don't take it too seriously. Don't take it seriously? It was just a bit of fun. Sorry, sorry, let me get this straight. I find you two making out of my kitchen, but I'm not supposed to take it seriously? Hey, it's not just your kitchen, I pay rent too. The house was bought under my name, but that isn't even the point. You, I... Calm down, Nekahime. You're ruining your pretty face if you scroll like that. Pretty. If I'm so pretty, why have I never been kissed before? While my best friend and my new tenant are busy locking lips against the fridge? She doesn't mean it. She can't mean it. She's trying to be nice because she pities me. Well, I don't want her pity. I don't need it. Stop it. Stop what? Don't. Don't make fun of me. I, I wasn't. Don't call me pretty. We both know the truth. I'm going to my room. Don't you dare bother me. Hey, Nakahimi. Clover calls after me. She sounds frantic. It stirs at my heartstrings a little. Of course it does. I know I'm overreacting. I'm whining like a little kid, but I can't help myself. My eyes still feel wet. Oh, I feel bad for her. Can I come in? Clover's voice trails away into a non-existence. She sounds more hesitant than usual. Maybe it's because I stormed off unexpectedly. Did I worry her? I, um... <laughs> I know what you saw back there must have surprised you, but if you want, I could always explain. Will you let me in, Nikimi, please? Well, I feel my resolve wavering. I told myself I didn't want to see Clover's face again, but she sounds so earnest and I feel bad turning away. And also, I still love her deep down inside and uh, really want a bit of that Clover booty. <laughs> also, um, I heard the sound of a rustling bag. I went to the 24-hour convenience store. I picked up some snacks for you just to say sorry. I got some pockin and those chocolate mushrooms you like so much. And your favourite milk pudding too. Oh. My ears perk up. My mouth sal salvates milk pudding. <laughs> I love milk pudding. That always makes me feel better. A girl can never say no to milk pudding. Even in the middle of the night. Especially in the middle of the night. Alright, fine. I sigh, setting my pillow to one side. I can see when I have been defeated. You can come in. Yay! And with this cheery explanation, Clover pushes open my bedroom door. Okie dokie then. How was this girl a girl? Let's find out. So, you knew Suka already? That's right. I said she was a stranger, but, um, 
That isn't exactly true. We've been playing this MMO together for a couple of years, so I know her pretty well. Dang, what? So, Nikhimi knew her from some random incident to do with fixing some woman's computer, and Clover's been playing an MMO with her for years. Okay, then why didn't you tell me that? Well, you know, I thought you might get jealous. I did not get jealous. You totally do. You're jealous right now, aren't you? Well, I puff out my cheeks. Clover giggles and prods my right cheek with her finger. I batter her head away, but it's only half-hearted. It's too late at night for all this drama. After consuming all those pocket sticks, the chocolate mushrooms, which aren't real mushrooms, by the way, I'm finishing off a cup of milk pudding. I'm feeling satisfied, sedated, and sleepy. I thought if you knew I had other net friends besides you, you'd feel, I don't know, like you weren't, like, weren't my number one anymore. I'm not that attached to you, Clover, you idiot. Sundari again! Of course you can have other friends. I'm not going to stop you having friends, but kissing her in my kitchen? Our kitchen. Whatever. Kissing her in the kitchen is taking it a bit far, isn't it? <laughs> I guess that's not the kind of thing friends usually do. No, it is definitely not. But just because we were kissing, it doesn't mean I like you any less. You're like really, really special to me, Nikihimi. You're one of the first friends I have ever made online and you're the best. But I'm weird and grumpy. You might be weird and grumpy, but I think it's charming. Because you want to look after me, right? Exactly, speaking of which. Clover leans forwards, her fingers brush against my cheek. I blink. What is it? You had some pudding on you right here, but I've got it. Clover shows me the fingertip of her right hand. There's a small smudge of light brown pudding residue resting there. Thanks sir, for the food. Clover pops a piece of leftover pudding in her mouth. I pull a face. Gross. Don't be like that, Nikimi. This is just how girls bond. So, when you were kissing Suki, were you just bonding? <laughs> well, um, um, about that. Suki is quite, um, open about how she expresses her feelings. Well, I could see that for myself. She couldn't keep her hands off you. Because though I was kissing Suki, I love you a lot too. Really? That's right. I'd have kissed you a lot, lot sooner if I thought you liked me. You know I like you, idiot. Otherwise, I wouldn't let you hang around me so much. No, no, no. I don't mean like that. I mean, do you like, like me? Well, um, um, um. My face flushes. I bow my head, hiding behind the folds of my hood. Do I like, like her? What does that even mean? You know what it means, girl. You know what it means, and I'm sure you do. Yep, I like you a lot. 100% sure, man. The way she's been acting, you know. 100%. It honestly is my choice to say here. But she definitely likes her, so I'm going to go with it. I mean, I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I don't really know. I like you a lot. So you get more tight. Yeah, let's go. I like you a lot. We all know it, guys. And that is definitely the choice I want to go for here. I do like you, Clover. I like you a lot. Ah? Uh, Clover stares at me. It's her turn to look startled. You mean, um... <laughs> she giggles coyly, pressing her fingertips together. You like me as you like a woman? No, I'd like you as I'd like a typewriter. Of course I'd like you as a woman, you moron. How else am I supposed to like you? <laughs> you don't need to get defensive, you know. I'm not. You are. You always get snap snappier when you're embarrassed. Well, I... I pause. I'm not sure how I feel. I like you, um... When I saw Yosuke, it... It didn't feel good. I don't have much experience, um... I curl my fingers into a fist and it held deeply. But... I, I do like you. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe more. Oh, Nakimi, you really are cute. You, you... You think so? Totally. No matter what happens, you'll always be my best friend for sure. You? Clover presses her quick... Presses a quick, fleeting kiss against my cheek. It's nothing like the deep, intimate kiss she, she shared with Suki. But that doesn't make it any less real. Oh, that's adorable. It doesn't make it any less sincere. I, I dip my head. My face flushes. I guess... Looking back on it, I was afraid I was being replaced. I was afraid Clover had found somebody she liked more than me, but maybe I was mistaken. If Clover didn't care, she wouldn't have gone to the store at 3 in the morning to buy me all these snacks. Snacks she knows after our 10 years of correspondence that I like. She picked up all my favourites. That takes real dedication, no matter how many girls she kisses. I guess Clover really is dedicated to our relationship. She never comes across like a serious person, but there are things even she values. I'm just glad that I'm one of them. Aww. 
It really has been an awe moment right now, you know? The following day at the breakfast table, we're going to find out on the next episode as we are going to end it here, guys. Sorry for that ending there, but it seems like a great place to end it. We had drama! We had suspense! And then we had the very nice warm moment of Nikahimi and Clover making up and, uh, Probably becoming more friends than they were before. So we're going to end it here. If you guys want to continue seeing Sakura Gamer, definitely smack that like button and let me know in the comment section down below. As usual, your support is very, very crucial to this series. It's absolutely fantastic that you do those things. So we are going to end it, guys. Enough of the jibber jabber here. Thank you for even watching today. And I'll see you in the next one.